Hey everybody, as many of you know, we recently got back from our European airdrop tour. We've kind of developed a reputation around these airdrop events where we drop physical tokens right out of the sky. And it's a great way to meet our community and cut through the noise and have a face-to-face -face conversation with the actual boots on the ground community, people who really support what Mainframe is doing to build this private, secure, surveillance-proof new internet. And Europe, you delivered. We did six cities, Zug, Switzerland, Warsaw, Poland, Berlin, Germany, Paris, France, London, England, Amsterdam, Netherlands. Six different events. in seven days. One thing we tried to do in each of these places was to visit historical locations that had relevance to the fight for freedom, privacy, and independence. It was a somber reminder that freedom is fragile and it's something that always needs to be protected. You're gonna see us talking about this more later in some standalone videos that really focus on what it means to be free. So we wanted to do something a little bit different for the airdrop tour in Europe. We were gonna have a Beat Austin competition to get extra MFT. So we had a one day break, we went to Paris, we enjoyed ourselves a little bit. Now London's a special city for us because that's where it all got started. Mainframe started in London. We have an office in London. We have a lot of friends there and that wasn't more clear than, than the line that was wrapping around the entire building just before it got started. But the tour was not over. We had one final city on our European tour. You wanna talk about Shake Shack? He's forgetting about Shake Shack. <laughs> That's like the best part. We had one final city on our European tour, Amsterdam, the Netherlands. <laughs> So I had to leave Banksy a little bit early because I was giving a presentation at a blockchain conference about how the mainframe network and mainframe technology will solve some critical use cases in the enterprise world and in the business world. It was mostly just Mick dressed as William Wallace screaming, FREEDOM! Pretty much. That's all he did. It was the perfect venue tall, tall ceilings, so as the balloons would come down, they would spread out, be decentralized, and everybody could get those tokens. Decentralized, get it? We were exhausted by this point. Six cities in seven days, but what a relief it was that evening to just hang out together, talk about the journey, talk about the different adventures, the people we had met, and just the community and how strong it was growing. It was one of those moments where you think, goodness, I have to remember this. The tour was fantastic, but we weren't quite ready to just kick up our feet and rest. We got home and quickly distributed our tokens, and then shortly thereafter we're listed on Binance. And a lot of you are asking, are we still going to do airdrops? We are going to continue to do airdrops, but it's going to evolve a little bit. We'll have fun, tokens will drop, we'll do all that stuff. But we're also going to do more around developers and talking more about our technology and maybe hackathons, maybe you know earlier in the day working with developers, understanding their use cases. And so these airdrops are definitely going to evolve over time and we're going to try to work cl more closely with developers all over the world. We've said it before and we'll continue to say it, this movement isn't anything without you, the community. And we're not done yet. We've only done 12 of these airdrops, we've committed to do at least 25. So head over to mainframe.com slash airdrop and let us know where should we go next? Where do you want to see the next airdrop events?